Hey everyone, it's Grocery Haul Day. Today is part two covering just Aldi because I spent like $250 at Walmart on groceries. So I did that one in a separate haul and then today I'm showing just Aldi. The meal plan will be in a members only post. Uh, click the join button below for more information. The uh, meal plans are 99 cents a month and above and you get four, two to four meal plans every month for that 99 cent and above uh, membership. But today I'm just going to be covering what we purchased from Aldi to go with that said meal plan. So for starters, I've never purchased, as far as I know, I may have years ago. But I don't think I've ever purchased sourdough bread from Aldi. And I have a friend who actually makes it fresh and like like bakes fresh sourdough bread every single week. And I wanted to try it anyways. And we had another thing we wanted to eat it with this week. So we decided to go ahead and buy it. We did find out that Aldi's actually ships it in frozen. So fun fact to know. But yeah, that is for a specific meal this week. And then I have two loaves of split top wheat bread for the rest of the week. Three dozen eggs because cheap protein. Two bags of the classic Caesar salad kit. They do not put cheese in these anymore. That was a fun fact. The da the dressing still has dairy, but they no longer put cheese in these. Just fun fact if anybody else needed to know that. One pack of purple and sliced cheese, one bag of brown sugar. Every now and then, Matt and I will be talking and be like, hey, what do we need for this week? And we'll be like, well, I don't know. And then randomly it's like, if I don't write this down right now, we need it. And last night we ran out of brown sugar in the middle of a recipe. So that was one of those fun like, oh, hey, we need this thing. We also needed three blocks of cheese because again, this haul is for Labor Day weekend slash first week of fall. So we needed three blocks of cheese, the extra sharp cheddar, Swiss, and pepper jack. One box of four sticks of unsalted butter, one bag of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, one bag of the Mexican style shredded cheddar cheese, two containers of sour cream. Our Aldi's does not have the 32 ounce containers, so we buy, and our Aldi's only carries the 16 ounce, so whenever we need it for multiple meals, we end up buying uh, two of these. We also picked up one jar of orange marmalade. This is probably a pantry stock up. I do try to specify in the hauls what's pantry stock up and what's not. That one is probably a pantry stock up. I don't actually have any definite plans of using that this week. As is the pumpkin and butternut squash pasta sauce. We tried this last year. I'm pretty sure this is the one we liked. There was one we liked. One was okay. It wasn't our favorite. This contains milk. I didn't read that. I didn't know that. I have a lactose free one. So yeah, I totally wouldn't have even thought to check a pumpkin and butternut squash pasta sauce for milk. But there's the contains milk warning. Huh. That's interesting. We also picked up one bag of the fall shaped pasta to go with the pasta sauce. That stretches pretty far. Last year, normally for our size family, the family of six, it takes like two jars of Alfredo to feed us. But we found last year, one of these is plenty for our family. We also picked up, this is, uh, actually no, this is a definite meal for this week. Uh, the pumpkin maple bisque. These are really good to feed our family. It does take two jars of that, but that's like just a, it's a bisque. It's a soup. So it does take two, two jars of that. One can of whole kernel corn, one can of crushed pineapple, five cans of steak and potato. I will kind of plug that in a little bit here. There's one meal that we're changing each week. And just to make it easier on me, we are for a dinner going to do like canned soups for our family so one night this upcoming week that's why there's five of those right there one gallon of two percent milk sorry you guys we did not buy orange juice this week i know we picked up one breakfast pizza normally they have these whenever uh east tennessee goes back to school that first week back to school they've been back to school for a month now but they didn't but i did find that they had them this week so i went ahead and picked up one breakfast pizza and this is the our favorite of the actually the sausage one's not bad because it has gravy for the oh this one has gravy too um for the sauce instead of like anything else but these are really good and it has no uh tomato as far as i know so i can eat that one bag of raw potatoes one bag of cooked potatoes one container of rotisserie chicken breast it's five dollars for this but you get a pound of it and I really like this. If you compare it to like some of the name brands, this one's really, really good. And it comes with a little Tupperware container. The other thing I like about it is you're not actually opening an entire pound at a time. It's in two half pound packages. So I can open one at the front half of the week and the other one at the back half of the week. And that way, like I don't have to worry about lunch meat spoiling. So if I wanted to spread lunch or sandwiches out to multiple meals through the whole week, it makes it easier to do that. Cause one of those packs is one meal for, a fam for our family of six. Three blocks of cream cheese for a dessert for tomorrow. Um, and last but not least, my grandmother gave me cash for my birthday at the end of July and I hadn't spent it yet. 
and they have this flavors of fall coffee collection and i just really wanted to try it so <laughs> i used my birthday money to get it because like i figured either i was going to use my birthday money to go out and get a coffee or i could use birthday money for the exact same cost and get 12 coffee pods at home well plus the creamer in the fridge so maybe a little bit more but flavors of fall and i am so looking forward to trying this and that is it for our grocery haul for today thank you again to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos thank you to all of you for liking watching positive comments and subscribing and we will see you next time